Hi, I'm Brian, and I'm building this 38-foot sailboat behind me. But before I get into building that, I wanted to fix up my Thunderbird sailboat. And this week I got around to finish fairing and painting it. Well, we got a good project finished tonight. We got the first coat on the cockpit area, which was a lot of work, a lot of uh, very confined space there. So it's looking good. We'll let that dry, give it a sand, and probably have to put a second coat on it, and then maybe just a few touch-ups. So I'm here washing the boat down after that big sanding session and what I'm doing if I notice any issues so there's a little bit of a rough spot right here I'm just gonna circle it so I can come back and touch them up I also get to have a couple of days of vacation took that time to take a nice 16 kilometer hike through some woods over in Nova Scotia beautiful scenery and uh, Real good exercise. And as the tide's rushing in now, it's basically just like a bathtub with slosh in the water back and forth. So I saved you from watching hours and hours of me sanding and I believe I've got it to the point that I'm happy enough with it. Yes, I could sand for many more hours and apply more coats of 
Farron to make it perfect, but I'm at the point that good enough is close enough for what I want. So we got the first coat of paint on the boat. I used Interlux Pre-Coat. I'm very happy with the product. Basically, it is a fairing paint, so it is designed to help the top coats adhere to it, but it is also designed to sand a little because it builds up a little thick to help you get rid of any of those last little scratches and stuff that were in the boat. So overall I'm very pleased with the results and now a little bit of sanding and we'll be ready to apply the top coat. The sanding is done, just got to give it a wipe down now and get ready to put apply the second coat on. Time to clean a little bit of this dust out of the boat. Probably should have done it as I was making it, but I let it build up. So I'll uh, give this a vacuum, get most of the dust out of here just to tidyify it a little bit. So I got my dad's stuff up into the front of the boat there. He's giving it a good wipe down to get rid of the last little dust. As you can see, even though I vacuumed, you can see on the walls and stuff. All kinds of it. There's still all kinds of it left. <laughs> so I got them scrunched up into some little spaces. I want to keep them nice and supple so he can uh, bend and twist. So after priming and sanding my boat, I have to put the paint on and I'm using Brightside uh, from Interlux.
So I'm going to give them their second coat, which is basically just going to go the same as the first coat. I'm going to have to roll it on with my roller, tip it with my brush to get rid of the air bubbles. I'll give you a close up of that to show you what I mean. And uh, what I'm, again I'm going to do is do the underside of these, leave them to dry, go do the boat, and then come back and do the top side. So on to more painting. There, I got close enough. You can see the bubbles that are there in the paint, all those little uh, dimples. And if I take my uh, brush, we will uh, make them disappear. And as the paint is still wet, it will self level. So that will. Get rid of all these light little streaks that are through it. And make it look as good as possible. Well, you know, I've really been thinking. And to build that sailboat's going to take me quite a few years. And, you know, the sail, well, with the wind and stuff, you never know whether you're going to make it there or not. So, in the end, I decided that I was going to get a powerboat. And, in the end, I decided to. And, as you can see... Here's my power boat for traveling around the world. <laughs> what do you think? Think I can make it? No. In all reality, um, Les Thomas, who helped me cut some of the grass, bought this boat. And it's a fully fiberglass boat, but they didn't fiberglass one thing. And can you guess what that was? So everything else is fiberglassed except for the floor the one place where the water is going to sit because they got outdoor carpet on it and in the end it just all rotted right out as you can see so les is here with his son jonathan and they are taking the floor out and i'm giving them a hand if you enjoyed this video please subscribe like, share, and leave a comment down below. We'll catch you next time as I put the hardware on the Thunderbird.